What's going on, Quest Teens family? Welcome to Quest Teens Online. Whether you're returning or visiting us for the first time, I'm starting a special online devotional series called Escape Room to give you wisdom on how to navigate through life's trickiest situations. You know, we all love a good escape room, but the goal of every escape room is to solve it and leave it. It seems fun at first, but after a while, we're all looking for a way out. In many ways, overcoming temptations in our lives can feel a lot like trying to figure out how to leave an escape room. So let's see what God has to say to us today in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 to 8. And it reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do, and He will show you the right way. Never let yourself think that you are wiser than you are. Simply obey the Lord and refuse to do wrong. If you do, it will be like good medicine, healing your wounds and easing your pain. You know, the author is King Solomon, who is considered to be the wisest man who ever lived. And he's passing along wise advice to his child on how to maneuver through life, especially when you're young. And you're presented with so many choices and paths to take that could potentially lead you down the wrong path or even dead ends. So Solomon is basically saying to us, make a decision to do the following, to trust the Lord completely not partially or occasionally, but with all of your heart, meaning all your actions and your attitudes, because the Lord is fully powerful, present, aware, and cares about the direction of your life. So God can be trusted. Next, never trust yourself with yourself, if that makes any sense, because our thoughts and feelings can mislead us in stressful situations when you're feeling either lonely, upset, afraid, or even confused. And finally, live by faith. Because when you live this way, you become emotionally, physically, and spiritually refreshed and renewed by the effects of faith. And you'll never regret it if you do. So here's the bottom line, as Solomon and his son would agree, you can escape by making a decision. So take some time today to reflect on the benefits of making a decision to trust the Lord completely, never trusting yourself with yourself, and finally, living by faith. Now, I wonder what your life might look like if you made some serious decisions this week. Imagine feeling confident in the steps you take because you know God is guiding you through it. Imagine you're feeling overwhelmed. Instead of turning to your bad habit, you turn to God instead. And you turn over your thoughts and your feelings to the one who can be trusted with your heart to help you do the right thing. Imagine seeing the destructive effects of stress be washed away by the nourishing effects of faith over your life. Now, can you imagine if we apply this gospel truth to the areas of our family, friends, community, and the world? You see, here's my hope for you today, whether you've been in church all your life or you're just getting started in your faith journey, is that you make a decision that will give you the wisdom to exit your escape room, wherever and whenever it might present itself in your life. Because God is a loving Father, who sent his one and only son to help us escape sin and death, who himself escaped the grave and is now seated in authority to be with us and for us through all the ups and downs of life. So here are a couple suggestions to think about that you can make a decision on. Number one, make a decision to start a new habit. It could be a spiritual habit like spending time with God through prayer, reading your Bible, or listening to worship music. It could be a physical habit like playing sports, going for walks, or exercising when you're feeling stressed. Take the kind of mental breaks that will refresh you. Next, make a decision to spend time with others. You know, connect with people in your life who can you can trust to be honest with and ask for guidance. People who can refresh your soul when you're feeling discouraged. It could be a mature friend, a coach, a teacher, a youth pastor, or a counselor. And, and lastly, make a decision to serve others with your gifts. If you find you have a lot of time on your hands, you know, the greatest question you can ever ask someone is, can I help you with anything? You will find that this question would lead you down the right path and fill your days and your heart with good things. Now, I invite you to pray this prayer with me to help you get started on your journey towards making a decision. So Father, help me to make a decision to trust you completely with all of my heart and to trust myself less because life with you is better. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Now, if you've never made a decision to follow Jesus, pray this simple prayer with me to help you get started. Jesus, I need you. Come into my heart. 
Be Lord and Savior of my life. Wash me of all my sins as, on, as only you can. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you pray that prayer and you meant it with all your heart, congratulations and welcome to God's family and your new journey. We can't wait to see what God does through you. So that's all the time we have for you today, Quest Teens. Text the words to the numbers on the screen for resources to help you in your decision and for ways to connect with us further. And remember, you can escape by making a decision.